Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Test 2 Plus today for episode 5 of 5 on Waves. We've spent most of this series talking about waves in the ocean, and we spent a little bit talking about how waves can be built and how they're made. We've even talked a bit about how to find them if you're a surfer, which is really cool, so make sure you check out those episodes. But today we're going to make this even crazier. For example, can you weaponize a wave? Like, think about it this way. If tsunamis are so destructive, and we know that it may only be a two-foot amplitude with a, you know, one-hour period, could we produce that with some kind of artificial means? Like a bomb? During World War II, the U.S. military tried this. They tried to make something called a tsunami bomb. No, not a band from Petaluma. It's, it's, it's a tsunami bomb. The top secret project was codenamed Project SEAL. And the hope was to create a 33-foot wave that would inundate a coastal city. It makes sense during World War II, Japan being such a small island nation with a number of islands that it was controlling in the Pacific theater, it would make sense to be able to drop a bomb off the coast, wipe out the enemy, and then be able to move in. The idea was if they couldn't use a nuclear bomb or they couldn't figure it out, then they could use something like this. And it was developed in cooperation with New Zealand authorities. Many tests were conducted around New Zealand to see if the weapon was even viable. And according to a New Zealand author of a book on military follies called Secrets and Treasures by, his name is Ray Waru, uh, it actually did work. Presumably, if the atomic bomb had not worked as well as it did, we might have been tsunamiing people. So fly high Upon the moon and stars 